Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about Super Unity Build, a way to automate your build process with Unity. To install this tool, first, click on code and you're gonna copy the GitHub link. Next, go to the Unity project, click window, you're gonna click package manager, and then you're gonna click add package for Git URL. You're gonna place the link and click add. Just wait for it for the installation. After the installation process finish, you can click the window and you will see the Super Unity Build option right here. And this means we are ready to go. And I will drag it right here to make it more convenient for you guys to see. And you will see that it says a bunch of options right here, but don't worry, we'll go to that a little bit together. And for the sample scene, I have this Super Build Scoop. And here, I have the TextMath Pro UGUI and I have the test stack right here and at the start method I will um, set the test value of the sample text to this test stack um, but one thing I have to notice is in this time I use custom defines um, which I have the UT development and UT productions in the UT developments I will set the test stack to UT developments and so is the UT production the reason I'm gonna use custom define is to show you guys a very powerful ways of this tool, Super Unity Builds, which gonna allow you to set up your custom define right into your build script, and you don't have to do it manually by yourself. And I think that is super useful because adding manually can lead to some mistake, and it's gonna be time consuming, and everything that can be automated, and you should automate that to make your life easier and avoid any kind of mistakes. In here, I don't have any custom define here, so when I start playing, the text is gonna be no, and you will see this is gonna be new right here. Now, let's go on to the Super Unity Builds window. The first time here, in the basic system, you're gonna see the base build folder, and it's gonna be the builds folder. And you can change whatever you want, so you can click browse here. But uh, I think I'm going to leave it to the default value. In the build part, it's going to be how you're going to set up your build project folder. In this guy, I think I'm going to leave it default. And you're going to click open build folder to see what is going on. And to quickly retrieve your files. And this thing is very cool. Next is going to be the product parameters. You will see that it's going to have the version template and the build version and you can have the option to auto generate version which i think is going to be incrementing over time i think it's i'm going to get left before and move on next is going to be the release type i'm going to add the release type here so in here you can set the basis info for your games and which the name the bundle identifier the product name and the company and then the reasons it is very powerful is it's gonna allow you to set up your own custom DeFi right here. So maybe if you're building a multiplayer game, so you're gonna have the servers and the client separately, and you want to build that automatically, not just manually by doing two both at the same time. And furthermore, it can be much more complicated than that. You can have the development environment where you can safely test your game and the production environment which is where the views that you're gonna deliver to your customer so in here I want to build a development version I'm gonna copy the custom define and I'm gonna paste this right here and you can see there's a bunch of options right here a server builds and development build and the event option you see that is that there's a lot right here so I will not go to this one by one but if you guys want to know, just comment down below and I'm going to try to do it as specific as I can. I'm going to change the release type name to development right here. And what I want to do to do next is I'm going to add a release type right here. And I'm going to have the production environment this guy. Just one click a button, I can build both development and production version of my application. Achieve it for the testing department or to your customer. 
this will be fine. I'm gonna change this to UT production. So if my code logic is correct, in the development build, the sample text is gonna be the UT development. And if it's gonna be the production, it will change to UT production. Now I'm gonna reduce this and the build platform. I'm gonna add some platform so right here. I'm gonna talk a little about this. You know, UT is a cloud platform. So sometimes you have to build multiple platform for the single application. And you're gonna do that by manually. The thing is that it's gonna be time consuming. And you know, humans can make mistakes. You're gonna try to automate most of the thing possible. I'm gonna use the PC version. I'm gonna ask for phone right here. And then I'm gonna add another for the production version. The preview actions is is gonna allow you to customize something before you're gonna build. And the post view actions gonna provide you the way to do something after the building process is complete. And now I'm gonna click the button right here perform or enable views. Um, I'm sorry. Um, there is a little bit thing I want to mention here. This is scene list is where you're gonna set up your own scenes right here. And you will see that is similar setting to the view setting. You have the scene in view right here. And you can do that by adding scenes file from view the setting. However, in here, you can drag it manually. And in this case, I'm gonna add the sample scene right here. Same to the production. I'm gonna add this right here. And now I'm gonna do perform or enable builds, which is gonna be two. Let's run it. Our building process is finished and you will find the build by opening the build folder option right here. And you will see you will have the folder which is the version name. You're gonna have the two release type development and production. And I'm gonna click development and I'm going to click PC and I'm going to open this executable file mm, if I think correctly the tag in this view is going to be UT development the track you see it's going to be UT development now let's testing the production Yeah, it's a production right here. So everything is going to be fine. You will see that I can build two release types in the same time. And I had the ability to change the behavior of my builds by using custom defines. The next super useful thing I want to show you guys is the way that the author of these two has also provided us with some female view action right here. You will find us in the GitHub link and I will leave the link down in the description below. And the build version, you will see that it has a lot of tools. Most of the time, what I frequently use is access build bundle and seed file utility. So what we're gonna do is similarly, we're gonna click code and you're gonna click copy the GitHub link in here. Similarly, click window, package manager and click the button as package from git area, you're gonna paste the package and click it add. Waiting for the installation process to finish. Now, you will see that in the post build action and preview action, we have a lot of previous action right here. You can see we have file operation, photo operation, and in here to adding a C file operation, I'm gonna click C file operation right here and I'm gonna add the view actions right here you will have a bunch of option right here like input part and output part so um, i think i'm gonna perform the views for the guy to see if this action is correct all of my views will have the this file version to it now let's see you will see 
once the build process is finished you're gonna have the separate version code right here which is one spy o spy o spy three and you can change that by modifying the production parameter but i think i'm gonna leave this the default value and when i click here in the development in the pc in the window in the model you will see that we are gonna have the this file operation right here just everything is just automation the naming is perfect which you don't have to manually rename your file and you can just ship it to your customer similarly in the production you also gonna have the c5 version right here and i think it is kind of amazing so that is the end of my video if this video gonna be helpful to you please like and subscribe to the channel and please share to your friends thank you for watching